I feel like this is one of those instances where that song, The Wing to SARS, should be playing. You know how it goes. When the wing to SARS arrive. Hello, everybody, Gracious Blaze, we're back with more Brick Rigs. In the land of Brick Rigs, firepower is important. Actually, it's very important, but also important is speed and agility. Over here, Koi Koi is back and has prepared for us the Interplanet Cargo Railway. This unassuming looking beast can go 400 kilometers per hour on the railroad. As a matter of fact, this is the fastest train from what it said currently on the workshop that doesn't use thrusters or rockets. This is completely electric powered and its speed is in fact legendary. This vehicle here, made with passion, determination, f fertility, not fertility, <laughs> fertility. I don't know why I said that. Yes, this is the most fertile of all steam engines ever made. This is where baby locomotives come from. Actually, it's, it's, it's electric powered, so I shouldn't say steam at all. Now, 400 kilometers per hour, from what I understand, off of the tracks, this thing will get up to 800 kilometers per hour. The question is, what does 400 kilometers per hour get you on the tracks? I wanted to find out and smash this thing into various obstacles of different difficulties. Now, you do have to turn it onto the invincibility mode. Otherwise, this thing just degenerates into nothingness. It, it rattles completely apart. Now, you may be seeing right now, we're not going that fast. And that's because it can't handle these turns. You kind of got to maneuver it out by the straightaway. Up here, there's like a bridge, which actually works completely fantastic. For the purposes of running things into other things. So that's what we're going to utilize as our test seat right there. There's the sadness all the children in Bricksville know and love. In fact, speaking of sadness and regret for all the children, over here, an angry mob riots violently. <laughs> Moving sort of. <laughs> Look at how. Their little legs are kind of pushing every now and again. It looks like they're going forward. Like, just be they are definitely going forward. But anyway, they're riding over here on the train tracks. No more bricks. Why? Game lag, why? High ping player out. What does it all mean? It means that the denizens of Brick Rigs have had enough of our shenanigans and are trying to put an end to it. But the only thing that they're going to put an end to is, I don't know, I guess like the children having two parents? Because what's gonna happen here is we are going to drive headlong through this little event and see what happens. Oh, parents of Bricksville, you're about to wish you had never been born. 200 kilometers per hour, 240, 270, 280. Now, I don't know if we can reach 400 on this strip of, uh, the strip of area over here. There we go! Oh my god! Oh, wow! <laughs> Something's on fire! I don't even know what it was. Look at the rioters! Look at what happened. They are blown to pieces. It almost looks like the train is gonna hit them another time over here. And the train sticks the landing like it's no big deal. The rioters flip-flop it all over the place. Pieces and signs and bodies and organs and giblets and all kinds of other foul things going soaring into the stratosphere. And we have stopped... Oh, the train's on fire. I don't know how, but the train is on fire. The train is pouring out smoke. It's burning, it's on fire, it's still trying to run forth. Did I turn off like the the invulnerability or something? I'm pretty sure I never turned off the, no, it's still invulnerable. It just kind of appears like fire is this thing's kryptonite. Oh well, I'm just gonna let it kind of continue over there. Over here, our sad little crowd that decided to get uppity is in shambles. Uh, some individuals have less than their original number of limbs. I feel like we need to hit a bigger crowd 
The rioters are pretty sweet, but holy crap. When the train hit him, it was friggin' epic. Hold on, we need something else, though. Over here. A gigantic zombie army lies in wait. I almost feel like we need... I feel like we need to push something into the zombies because a lot of the zombies aren't on the tracks. Like, if there was something laying across the tracks and then the train hit that and then that entity went barrel rolling into the zombies, I think it would work a lot better. But we're gonna... Let's just real quick... We'll try and deal with what we have currently. Can you see it in the distance, my friends? The things dreams are made of! Right there, like a speeding bullet. You thought fire was what zombies were allergic to? Nope. It's 400 kilometer per hour trains. Heads and brains and guts and clavicles and sternal cladial mastoids and calcaneuses and all kinds of things are flying through the air. Does anyone know what the calcaneus is? You can't look it up on Google. You have to know. The calcaneus is actually one of my favorite named bone. Over here, the train continues to roll. Now, see, if we hit the group of zombies when it was rolling like that, that would have been epic. This train is amazing. It did a fantastic job of clearing out these zombies. Yeah, let's go ahead, if we can, let's go put something on the railway so that the train could just smash into that and then destroy all the zombies in one go. So Super Zebby crafted for us the zombie army. Tom Loco over here has the gift given. Now supposedly, this is, me putting this on the train tracks is, is a terrible idea. Now this is made to fly. But I get the feeling that if we run it over with a giant, super fast train, some glorious things will happen. Alrighty. Santa and his hefty sack are sitting over here with this random gun kind of hanging out. All of these little planes are, I assume, explosives. The zombie horde shambles over here next to Santa. Will they be able to stop Christmas? Although I guess Christmas has already happened. But will they be able to thwart next year's Christmas? Not if the 400 kilometer per hour train has anything to say about it. I just want to mention something real quick. <laughs> I, was moving, I was moving out of here just so I could get over to the train. And I saw this. That's, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. I didn't do this. I'm <laughs> not that self-absorbed. I feel like this is one of those instances where that song, The Wing to SARS, should be playing. You know how it goes. When the wing to SARS arrive. Oh, Redded Silver Bullet, you glorious being. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. I think we've pretty much wiped out the zombie horde. It turned out fantastic. Look, everyone, it's snowing. It's snowing zombie chunks. Never thought you'd see that on Christmas, did you? Yes, the various viscous fluids of the zombie horde splashes down across the Brick Rigs Badlands. Bodies of the zombies bouncing limply as they regret their decision to ever come into contact with the denizens of Bricksville. I will say, if there's one city you don't screw with, it's Bricksville. Wow, this thing is still tumbling on fire. Actually, it's really neat because, like, the flames really make it. I'm, I'm so surprised at how flammable this thing is. What is that random brick? It's just a random brick flying around. It's like, it's like a, someone hit a home run over here or something. But I'm really impressed at how flammable this train is considering its invincibility. I will say though, like a, the flaming while it spins around is just glorious to watch. How far is this thing gonna go? This is like the perfect place to run things over because right after the train hits, it just ramps off into the stratosphere. And then finally when it touches down, it's usually on fire and it has destructicated everything that we've laid before it. I wonder. I'm gonna hate myself for this. Over here! Lazard has crafted for us this unassuming building called the Insurance Claim. 
The insurance claim, while not looking like much from the outside, is a building painstakingly made of 5,600 bricks. Blizzard basically made this out of like one by one bricks, and it's structurally appropriate, supposedly, too. Like the load bearing beams actually bear loads, and like there's vents and stuff for the chimney and everything. If you go inside, hold on, let's um let's kind of move our way in through here. If you go inside, you will notice Bob over here sitting at his table alone, prepared for the death that awaits him. All of this area, all the windows and everything, are all individual bricks, which is going to be completely ridiculous. So one of two things is going to happen. This is either going to explode in a miraculous shower of bricks, or my computer is going to pop out of the case and try and strangle me. Over here, the Santa sack, sitting very, very precariously in front of the building. I don't know if it's close enough for the explosion to really rock the building. This thing, it's got to have a lot of weight to it because this, the base over here, I think, is some very strong and heavy material in the, uh, in the, the workshop, the creation area of the workshop. I move a little farther back each time so that I can get more and more and more speed. If we turn the invincibility off at just the right time, we may be able to get some glorious things to happen. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, insurance claim. Geico would be proud. Oh, yeah. We tore a freaking hole out of this building. I didn't think we'd have enough weight in order to do it. But this train is no joke, baby. When this thing gets up to 350 kilometers per hour, it will redecorate your friggin' house in a heartbeat. Is that half the train over there? The train actually got split in half. Let's go ahead and fast forward things up a little bit over here. Now, if we moved everything in full speed, I'm not really sure it would have happened because I think I managed to slow things down right after the initial impact. And that impact is where a majority of the damage is gonna come from. You can see this thing is on fire. Just sad little pieces burning all over the place. Now, most of the house is still intact. But again, without the explosives, I really don't think that this train would even have a prayer at doing any damage against this particular house. I feel like we need something a little bit more, like, vehicular to run into. Over here, Furry Fury has crafted for us something called... I don't remember what it's called. The name is really long. It's called where the heck, where is it? The MC Oshkosh LV SR MKR 68 Tractor Classic Desert. This gigantic vehicle is about 1,600 bricks, if I remember correctly. But the thing about it is, it is long, proud, and in freaking charge. I have it lined up here. Over right. What does this say? Hold on. I didn't even look at this. Fuel 100%. Mission. Give presents and coal. Countries left 94. All right. Well, uh, Santa's radar over here has a brand new being on its monitor, and it is the Oshkosh over here. We're going to see how well the train does in blowing this thing up. Plus, my computer and chip may feel a little bit less strain. In Bricksville, snow is glistening. You're screwed tonight, isn't that right? And here we go! Oh. Nothing happened. Oh! I know where I screwed up. <laughs> the Santa thing is still invulnerable. I have to move it with invulnerability, otherwise it'll just blow up randomly. We did a little bit of damage to the Oshkosh, actually. I was really surprised because the Oshkosh is, like, way more bulky than the train. The train doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't have a lot of oomph. Like when it hits, it doesn't really usually do a lot of pushing. Uh, it's all about what its propulsion can do for other things that can generate a little bit of, uh, a little bit of oomph, like the explosives. All right, everything should be on point now. Here we go. Go get them, boys. There it is. That was a decent explosion and a decent hit as well. The flaming locomotive ejected into the air, 
Santa's sack still somehow like gripping tightly into the main part of the uh, the sled. The Oshkosh took that hit like a champ, man. No joke. Wow, there goes the flaming. There go. Hold on. I wonder if I can get in here. Let's see if I can turn off the invincibility real quick before we hit the ground. There it is. Yep. Got the invincibility off just in time. In fact, if I can... Wow, this thing just turned to nothingness. If I can get the invincibility off just in time all the time, like right before we hit stuff, I think it'll turn out really well. This mountain is terrible. Oh, you just rolled down it forever with pieces and chugs flying around. You can actually see our little guy. There's nothing left in the cabin. <laughs> we just exploded and we're on fire. I don't even know what was explosive inside of the train and everything has been destroyed. Every part of this train has been turned to nothingness just about. Like, there's a couple of pieces over here and they're still sliding down this hill. This hill is freaking horrifying. It never stops. Is the train finally going to come to a, to a complete halt before it reaches? Yeah, right there. Okay, the train is finally done. All right, we're gonna do it one time. Part of it has already started falling apart. It's Lazard's Brick Brickatomi Plaza, but he made an even more horrifying version. This one's like 5,600 bricks. I don't know why we needed more bricks. I don't know why things had to get that much more excessive. But I'm going to see if we can blow it up with a train and the Santa sleigh over here. Well, sadly, the train just won't work. I think it's because maybe there's too many bricks on the board or something like that. It's really weird. Like, for the first time, the train just started glitching, and I can't get it on the tracks anymore. I've been trying for, like, the last 20 minutes. It just will not stick to the track. So we're gonna use this over here. This creature is something we haven't... Ah, I just fell off the friggin' bridge. This creature is something we haven't shown in a long time. It's the race truck. Very simplistic vehicle. It's a truck with a bunch of rockets on it to make it go as fast as possible. I don't know if it's going to be able to handle... Maybe it will. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. No, bad things have happened. Bad things have happened. We've, we've launched into the stratosphere. Oh, the epileptic seizure simulator. Okay. No more of that. All right. Let us never touch the train tracks with this thing again. I'm going to see if I can line this up. This is going to be ridiculously hard because it's so fast. All right. Here we go. Race truck underway. Moving pretty good. Oh, God. We're starting to touch it. Oh, no, no. Oh, God. Whoa, okay. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I guess we hit Brickatomi Plaza, sort of? I don't know how we hit. Okay, let's try this again. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Okay! I was gonna say, I just. Barely managed to keep this thing on the roadway. How fast were we going when we hit Brickatomi Plaza? That thing just rocketed straight through it. Look at the damage it did. I can't believe it. Even the rockets and like the nukes and stuff that we used on Brickatomi wasn't able to hit it that hard. The rocket truck, again, I, I have no idea how fast that thing was going when it made impact with Brickatomi Plaza. But however fast it was going, it just absolutely slaughtered this building. We may have to put the rocket truck the rocket truck up against some various other creations because holy crap. That thing just ruins anything in its path. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs, where we got to see the train. At so almost 400 kilometers per hour, run into all sorts of different structures and blow up wildly for our amusement, as well as some awesome buildings and stuff like that. And then, of course, the ode to the rocket truck, bringing things back to the way they used to be in Bricks Rigs. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.